Oh, hello YouTube. Today we're going to be changing the rotors and the brake pads on a 2018 Charger S16. And we have our host, Dirty Dude Roger, myself, Dirty Dude Joey. Just Dirty Joey. Okay, Dirty Joey. And uh, as you can see, I already loosened up the lug nuts. So we're going to go ahead and take the tire off. And once we get the tire off, I'm going to go ahead and show you how everything looks back here. And uh, take that off and then put the new one. And you're going to see all of that in action with this video. Stay tuned. And here we go. And here we go. Dirty dudes! Hi guys, so this is your caliper here, and this is your bracket, and this is the rotor. Now, what other people, what some people like to do is take the whole bracket with the caliper off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the caliper off first, and then the bracket. And after you take the bracket off, then you'll be able to take the rotor off, which is the disc, the disc brake. Now this one is still good, but it's the other side that's uh, warped. So I'm going to go ahead and replace both of them because it's best to do both at the same time instead of just one or the other. They have a clamp for the brake pads? We'll get to that once we get the caliper off. Do you have a C-clamp? A what? C-clamp? They're, they're right here. No, cool. like the C clamp, so you could um, compress the piston. Oh no, I don't have a C clamp. So that that's uh. So right here is the bolt that holds the caliper to the bracket. There's one here, and then there's one down here. This one right here. That's gonna be a half inch socket. So you want to get your half inch. Make sure you're on loose, and go ahead and loosen up. Lefty loosey ow. If it's too hard, you might want to get a breaker bar or use the air air uh, air gun. I don't think the breaker bar is it's too. Oh, you can use the breaker bar for like. Well, then let me use the air gun. You put your plug it on. And those two are gonna be your bolts for the bracket. <clears throat> point point out those. Uh, the bolts for the bracket is gonna be this one. And this one. Those are your bolt, uh, what is, bolt bracket. What is the other one next to it? The one next to it? That one. This one? Yeah, what's that? It holds this brace here. Are that sure? goes to the arm. Alright, so Joe, we almost forgot to mention that you have to hold this, um, this nut right here. While you're losing it and tightening these uh, bolts. Maybe not tighten, but like sure enough, when you're losing it, you have to hold this one. And that's a size 18. There you go. You got to do the same thing for the bottom. Make sure you hold this on that right here <laughs> not too hard with the air gun all right so once again make sure you guys uh, don't let this be hanging because uh, you could tear the holes or damage the what is it called the elbow fitting um, brake juice fluid uh little piping okay so as you can see as i told joey you can see it from the outside these brake pegs are actually super good they're practically new yeah and they're only actually about four months old and they're still good because i know i changed these but the rotor on the other side warped 
So when I step on the brake, it shakes. It, and you're sure it's that? Yeah, sure it's that. But like Joey said, uh, if you're gonna do, uh, when, you, when it comes with brakes or brake pads or anything like that, it's uh, better if you do both sides at the same time. So you could get an even wear. You don't wanna to be wobbly. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what's wobbling. They changed the brake pads or, or something different. And it has a different uh, no, wear pattern. No, I think, pattern. I just think, honestly, I think OEM material straight from the factory is a cheaper material. And that stuff tends to wear down and warp and break faster than aftermarket. Even the Duralast brand is better than OEM. Because they, they want you to keep taking it back to the dealerships. And here in town, the dealership isn't really that good. Yeah, the really Dodge, because yeah. this is a Dodge, uh, what is it, Caliber? Charger. Charger. And the, the dealerships... Uh, take like three four hours to do an oil change and it's mandatory you take it to do the, the the oil change somewhere so you can keep it on record so it won't void the factory warranty so let's uh keep this video going and the uh, caliper is off and the brake pads are off now we're going to be taking off the bracket i don't know if you mentioned that these are actually spray painted they're not really red yeah they're not really red they're spray painted my smart stepson was eager enough to paint him, him and his friends. They did a good job. Decent job, but... Why decent? It's good. It's not peeling or anything. I guess. Not my kind of thing, but okay. When you, when you, you don't have any room for your impact wrench or your, your long um, breaker bar, we're going to go show, show you guys a technique. How to use your ratchet. But I don't recommend it though. Yeah. Disclaimer: You could actually damage the ratchet yourself, your ratchet, or the parts in the car. So, so do this on your own risk. Do the disclaimer, like in the bottom, with your finger. No more up. Oh, there. Disclaimer. Okay, go do it. All right. Now this is I'm using a 13 16 socket with the half inch drive wrench. Make sure you get it from the back of the... It's hammer time, baby. Get it from the back of the head so you won't... Like, put oh, pressure... Yeah, I already did. No, but put your hand there so you won't... Oh, so it won't come that. out. I wasn't okay. ready yet. Okay, go. It's hammer time, baby. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's do it again. And one, two, three. Was it loose already? No. Okay. One, two, three. Hammer time, baby. <laughs> so we're... As we're loosening the bolt for the bracket, it's, gonna, it's always going to be hard. Like I said in all my videos, the bigger the bolt, the tighter the torque. Pump, pump it up, I'm pump it up a little it. more. Let the compressor start it, baby. <laughs> pump it up, pump it up a little more. Ah, uh, was make sure the ratchet doesn't get stuck between those. <laughs> it got yeah, stuck. Yeah, it got stuck right when you said it too. Now you might want to use a open end or a pair of pliers. No pliers, never use pliers. No, mm. open end. I got pliers just in case. Never use pliers, never use a adjustable wrench, never use a pipe wrench unless you really need to. Which he does all the time. No, I don't. Now let's get the second one. Are you going to hammer time it or not? Hammer time. No, oh. hammer time. It's hammer time. <laughs> Good thing it's my car. Uh, disclaimer once again. <laughs> yeah. As you can see how Joey's struggling, how hard that is. 
They probably had like a uh, lot of like, yeah, probably. They probably did. So Joey didn't completely remove the bottom one, so he had more um so the brake the 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 bracket will be a little bit more uh, stable. So that's why he didn't take out the bottom one not yet completely after they're both loosened up. So like I thought it did have some uh dog uh what is it called? Loctite. Loctite. It's the yellow one. Um what does the yellow one do? You wanna tell them how Loctite works and to like to begin with? So that way any bolts and nuts don't get loose while driving. Loctite is like a, a it's a liquid but turns into a plastic. Um so it's, it's like a glue. It's not a glue. It's a glue. It's not like a glue. It's uh it's, it's, you apply the Loctite here and you let it dry and it actually becomes um you don't let it dry before it, you put it no, on. No, you let you it dry. It on, I let you... it dry so it could harden and it could be like this and then you put it on and like it's like a Teflon. I don't know if you ever use Teflon like when you're working with piping Loctite, or Loctite you to liquid. You put it on the on the threading of the bolt and then you put it on right away and it'll dry up when it's in there. <laughs> so these uh bolts for the brake caliper actually also have the Loctite as you can see the yellowish I don't know why they're kind of bluish, the, the bolts, probably because they're... Alright, so we removed the bracket that holds the brake pads and... The Remind the people that we're going to have to remove those uh, little tabs. Yeah, yeah they those come off. Those come, those come new when you buy your brake pads. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw my previous, uh, one of my previous brake jobs I did and um, the actual piston were, were damaged um, from the... From the Ram 1500, we had to actually replace the whole bracket because, yeah, because uh, one of those uh, pistons were 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 out and they, they were it was bent on Johnny's truck. Yeah, oh. from the inside it was bent, so the wear was super ugly. I recommend you guys watch the video. I'll put a link for you guys somewhere over here. Right there. Um, and it was a weird uh, case of the brake job. All right, so let's uh, remove the the rotor. This is your disc brake, which is the rotor. Now it's not gonna pop off easily. You gotta Sometimes get the you do. It depends where you live. I think it's gonna come out easy. It's gonna, you gotta get the hammer and tap around it. Stop! Stop! Can... Stop! Sometimes some uh, brake calibers come with a little hole, but they're actually for a bolt. And you put in the bolt and it will actually pop out. It usually has two holes and it'll pop out the, the rotor while you're uh, tightening those uh, bolts. All right, pull it. You could you could do it. It's already loose, dude. Pull it. You pull it. Well, then you pull it. If it's I'm recording. Loose. Go, go. <laughs> I'm over here falling down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> If you're gonna reuse them, make sure you guys don't damage none of this because this is actually the the thing that actually stops your car. <laughs> What'd you eat? I had a hair in my mouth and I, my hands are dirty and I just touched my tongue. I'm dirty Joey. <laughs> Say the hammer time thing. It's hammer time. But tell them you've been doing this for like I've been 30 doing minutes, this for 45 nah, minutes. Not even that long, dude. Just like three minutes. It just takes some banging on there. You gotta hit it from the back. So once you hit it from the back, it'll pop off like that. And don't be scared of like this is all metal as you can see. All, You're gonna replace this. I'm replacing this, so I'm going it. But I'm, I don't I'm think you could, you're strong enough to damage it either way. Oh yeah, yeah you are. Look. See these dents? There's no dents here. You're not, you're not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> and that is gonna be your bearing right there. And that is hold on by three uh, bolts in the back. If you ever guys wanna curious on. <laughs> let it drop, dude. Don't let it drop on my toes. That's what I was trying to do. So there's three bolts here to hold the bearing assembly. So you can see um, oh. how dent, how Joey dented it. Again, if you're gonna reuse them, be very um, safe. Use um, a rubber mallet. Use a rubber mallet. What are you saying? And these are the. This is gonna be your bearing right here. Wow, really? And it's held up by three over here in the back. If you ever have to replace them. 
And these seem kind of kind of good, dude. I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, it's only a three-year-old car. They better be good. They're not I'd again. It's a Dodge. Freaking piss. Yeah, that's true. It's a Dodge. It's a Dodge. So before you put it, make sure this is a a flush. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clean it with a wire brush. Do you have a wire brush, right, Joey? Yes. Where is it? Somewhere over there. And then we're gonna hit it with some brake cleaner. And also, before we install the actual ca uh, calibers. Right, that's what they're called? Yeah. No. Uh the brake this brake. This brake, this brake, not calibers. <laughs> are you telling me either? You, you said it. Are you it? telling me they're calibers? I'm not saying they're calibers, you said it. So these are actually this brakes, this brakes or slash rotors. slash rotors, not calibers, Joey. So we're gonna <laughs> go ahead and clean it with some brake cleaner before we install them because they do come with a protective grease oil uh, coating so they won't rust when they have them in the show. Yeah, um I wouldn't recommend again you guys doing this because wear your safety glasses and gloves and if you don't like your pants you could do it Joey's way. Again he's spraying it there. Um, another thing, don't get it into your paint or any plastics or anything that you like because it would uh it will eat it up. Alright, so you we already installed this and we're gonna put one of the lug nuts so it won't be all loose. So we're gonna go ahead and install one or two lug nuts so we could actually install that uh, caliper and bracket, or bracket and caliper. Again, before we're gonna actually spray, we don't want any grease or oils contaminating those brake pads. Yes. All right, so we're gonna put those, uh, what are those even called, do you know? They're some kind of clips. I forgot what they're exactly called with the right Word for they're the little clips so your brake pads go go uh, back to their places it also has the it holds the your brake pad in in place. place and it also has that warning the when you hear like sometimes you hear the all right so joey again was incorrect your uh, actual uh, warning uh <laughs> things are gonna be right here the warning tabs so when this little tab is hitting your disc or your rotor that means you have to change your your pads i didn't did it Again, make sure you don't touch your, your pad. You don't want to contaminate it with your oils or greases or anything like that. So I already got the bracket back on. Now everything is just the opposite uh, of what we were doing. So How you take it off, you put it off. back. What? How you remove it, you... I already hand tightened put the bolt back here. Now back. You, yeah, to the back. It's the opposite. You just say you have to do the opposite. That's what I just said. You, we, now we're doing the opposite of what we did. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Tell him. Dude. Yeah, what he said. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. The torque specs on those. I up. have no idea what the torque specs are, but I'm just doing it by eye. Uh, by eye. You know? If you want to Google it, you go ahead and Google it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the torque specs are pretty high. Maybe about like six pounds, 55, six pounds. That's not high. Your lug nuts are 90. But the lug nuts are loose, or not as tight as that. Okay, so it's probably higher than about 110 pounds. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Again, disclaimer, all these specs are guess, uh, guesstimations. guesstimations. I need more space I need to cut this down all right so now we're gonna compress that actual uh, piston on the brake uh, caliber that's what it's called the caliber this is the caliper yes um, this is gonna be flushed evenly with this so the new uh, brake pads fit on there and we went ahead and opened up the the brake fluid container and make sure sometimes in old vehicles you know, usually have a leak because uh, like all uh, like over overflow because you tend to put um more fluid in when you see it drop and that's the reason the fluid drops because your piston starts to extend so make sure if you're doing it on an old car make sure you put like a, a container or something in the bottom just be aware that you're gonna have some some leakage um, so Joey's gonna be using a C clamp um, he's gonna put an old brake pad as a He's gonna put an old brake pad. He's not using the brake pad to knee. I usually put a brake pad and so I won't damage the piston, but Joey 
has his own techniques. There we go. It's already down. All right, so the pistons are fully compressed. So let's put it back in before we tighten those bolts, but we are going to put those new brake pads. One size is bigger than the other. So make sure you, you, you want to pay attention how you take them off, because sometimes, again, on older cars, they have different uh, pads from your outside to your inside uh, brake pad. Yeah, so like make sure the front might be smaller than the back. All right, so we put the caliper back on. The brake pads first, remember. Yes. Step right. by step, we put the rotor, the bracket, the brake pads, and the last but not least, the... the caliper. Now the caliper slipped right over the brake pads is exactly what you want. And then you're going to put one bolt in, hand tight, and then the other one in. And don't forget, use an 18 millimeter open end to hold this while you tighten it up. And again, those, uh, those uh, bolts aren't that big, so you don't want to over tighten them. You don't want to be hitting it with no hammer. Joey, don't hit it with a hammer this time. No, I'm not just uh, easy with the hammer. Just as tight as your hand could could uh, do it with your ratchet. You don't have to. <laughs> your brake job is done. Well, one side. Again, make sure you guys uh, research your your torque specs and all that um, and there you go well all right guys well all right guys <laughs> well all right guys there you go we uh, went ahead and changed out the the rotor and brake pads on this 2018 18 Dodge Charger Charger SXT V6 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 um, so make sure you guys don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share. And thank you. Oh, so you can see the car. Well, if you would get the car. No, you. Oh. Like that, see? Okay, good job. <laughs>